Zikin. I'm the co-founder of City Sprouts, which manages Sprout Hub. Welcome. Uh, Sprout Hub is located in the former Henderson Secondary School. Uh, it's part of a government initiative to have a co-located space, uh, being a nursing home, a childcare, and an urban farm. So Sprout Hub is uh, operating the urban farm portion. Uh, when we envision Sprout Hub uh, to be our food and social hub, we have two social goals to reconnect people to food and the second is to bridge the intergenerational gap. So to achieve our two goals, we've developed various aspects within Sprout Hub. Uh, and mainly what we'll be doing is having allotment gardens in the form of greenhouses where we, they are rented out to either individuals, farming enthusiasts, or even uh, organizations who are looking to test with their innovative farming technologies. And uh, we hope to create a platform where they can uh, experiment their systems and eventually uh, Spring brought them to the commercialization stage. So secondly, we also have a Singapore Indoor Agriculture Platform, which is a platform that we created using the old indoor sports hall. This space will be used as a test bed for farmers to uh, experiment and exchange knowledge and data on indoor farming. We have also created programs targeting our neighbours, the childcare and the nursing home. These programs are designed in such a way that a specific child will be paired with a specific elderly and uh, they will run through a 12-week long program. In our outdoor field space where our greenhouse allotments are, we have also commissioned an architect to build a traditional Ke Thai structure which we call Myths on the Red Hill. Uh, the whole idea is to have an outdoor classroom to weave different stories and narratives together to focus on the folklore of Red Hill and also the, the history behind Henderson Secondary School. While technologically driven production farms are important, we believe that there's a lot of work that needs to be done from the ground up, which is empowering communities to learn where food comes from, how food is grown, and eventually appreciate how food gets to their plate. Uh, and we believe that this complements SFA's 30 by 30 goal.